Hey guys, welcome back to guns.com. I'm Jackie and today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna forego the usual pistol review you're used to seeing from me for something a little spicier. The CZ Scorpion Evo with Manicore Arms Bullpup Kit. So let's do this. Manicore Arms is known for some stellar bullpup accessories. So it's no surprise that CZ partnered with the company to bring consumers a bullpup kit specifically for the Scorpion platform. Now, the Scorpion is pretty compact all on its own, but Manicore trims that size down even more, bringing an overall length of 26.1 inches, bringing consumers the smallest configuration you can get without paying the ATF 200 bucks. All in all, it weighs in about 7.6 pounds. The Bullpup Kit ships as a separate package alongside the Scorpion, and that's going to include the lower receiver, butt plate assembly, and cheek rest assembly. Not to mention all of the nuts and bolts and little pieces you're going to need to put it all together. If you love to work with your hands, the opportunity to tweak this carbine is perfection. But if you're like me and a little less handy, it can be frustrating. In theory, it's a quick swap of the Scorpion's guts from the old receiver to the new one, but in practice, it proved a little bit more difficult. My limited experience with carbine builds made this process much longer and probably a lot harder than it should be and that it would be for the average person. CZ sends an owner's manual along with the kit, but I'm going to be real frank here, it's not very helpful. There are very few illustrations, and what illustrations there are don't show key components, especially some of the smaller components, that you're going to use throughout the build. CZ does offer a YouTube tutorial, but again, I really feel like this could have been done a little bit better. The YouTube tutorial is shot at a distance, so some of those small components to the build get lost. You can't really see what's going on. For the most part, everything went really well, if not just a little bit slow. I did hit a snag when I was trying to tap a roll pin into the mag release. I ended up having to call my buddy Sven, who happens to be the owner and the brains behind Manicore Arms for a little bit of help. He was able to get me back on track though, and I greatly appreciated the help. So thank you, Sven. Finally, with everything put together, I function tested the Minicore Arms Scorpion to make sure everything was cycling and working properly. With the gun seemingly operating as intended, I decided it was time to take this baby to the range for live fire. I was praying so hard that it would not blow up in my face and that I hadn't messed anything up, but thankfully everything worked perfectly, everything worked fine. In fact, I didn't have any kind of malfunctions during my testing. Manicore enhancements really elevated the Scorpion design though. The buttstock nestled really well into my shoulder and allowed me to get real tight with the gun, controlling that recoil really well. The cheek rest was nicely designed, it gave me a nice place to rest my cheek against as I was shooting. The only real issue I kind of encountered were my own difficulties with the safety. Now on the old receiver in the original Scorpion, you have a traditional AR style flip lever safety. On the new Manicore receiver, it's more or less a button that you push in with a thumb. That button was slightly difficult for me to use. I had some other shooters try it out to see. They didn't encounter any problems, so I think it's a hand strength issue for me personally, and something that with some repetitive use, I would definitely be able to overcome. Was my technique the best? No, not at all. But this was a great platform to learn on. It was lightweight, which meant I could stay on target longer and try to work on some of those fundamentals. You'll notice there are no optics on the Scorpion Bullpup, mainly because I didn't happen to have any on hand at the time that I was taking a look at this gun. So I just ran it with Magpul Embus flip up sights. They did all right, but I definitely think long term I would want to throw a red dot on it. Application wise, I see this as a good entry for those looking to jump either into PCC or as a home defense tool. Paired with 9mm, the Bullpup is a serious contender for any home defense plan. And again, that smaller frame 
is very maneuverable, which works well when you're shooting around barriers or corners. Sporting an MSRP of 1116 just for the Scorpion and 399 for the Manicore Arms Bullpup Kit, you're looking at dropping over $1,500 to get this up and running. And that's not counting throwing a red dot on it or if you opt to have a gunsmith do all the assembly for you. That is some serious pocket change to throw down on a carbine. But if you happen to have a little extra in the bank, the Scorpion Manicore Duo is worth the price. It is a sweet setup and one that easily translates from the range to a home defense plan. Well guys, we've reached the end of this look at the CZ Scorpion Evo and Manicore Arms Bullpup Kit. Make sure to sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this pairing. Also make sure to like, share, and subscribe to guns.com to stay up to date on all of our great gun content. And head on over to guns.com and check out our array of cool guns and gear ready to go home with you. I'll catch you guys next time.